All right, Shalom to the elect of Israel. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. This is Isaiah from GMS London, England. All right, this video, I want to speak about the true color of the Lord. Okay, the Lord being a so called black man, a so called Negro, according to the Bible. All right. And, you know, we're in the last days, and now's the time to repent. And return unto the Lord through this truth For you Israelites, okay Repentance being for you Israelites The so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans And our people that are scattered all over the world Alright, we are the Hebrew Israelites According to Bible prophecy, alright And this, uh, you know, lesson I want to bring some scriptures about the true image of the Lord, man Because it's you know, we're in the last days where the truth is being revealed, you know, and recently you had the dark images, the black icons, the so-called black, okay, because we're really not black. Black is just, that's a byword, all right? We're really Israelites, all right, of different colors, man, different shades, different shades of brown, you know? But even recently, you know, that's being talked about how those true images, you know, depictions of the people of the Bible and the Lord, the saints, the prophets, how they're all people of color, all right? So-called black people, so-called Negroes, you know? And the scriptures, you know, they, they prove this. So I want to bring out the first scripture. This is Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. It says, Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish. Okay, so we know Judah, you know, uh, representing the southern kingdom of the nation of Israel. All right, who people would call so-called Negroes, all right, so-called African-Americans, so-called uh, uh, West Indians, people of the Caribbean, you know, the islands. All right, so it says Judah mourneth, so, you know, our people are mourning. Okay, we're in a, a sad uh, position. We're, we're mourning, all right? And it says, and the gates, they're of languish, all right? Because our leadership, you know, has, has been down, okay? You know, our leaders are, are, are down, man, you know, and, and we've just been in this position where we've been oppressed, you know, going into captivity, being underneath our enemies, these heathen nations, all right? Where we sinned and went against the Lord, and broke his commandments you know we're now in, in this uh low condition all right but it says judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish they are black unto the ground and the cry of jerusalem is gone up so it says they are black all right like unto the ground so what color is the ground what color is the soil the earth all right that's different shades of brown going from a light brown all the way you know the further you go to a dark brown all right, because when you actually go into the word, all right, the, the, for black, it just means dark skinned. Okay, quada, all right, which is dark skinned. All right, and the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. Yeah, so we are the, you know, and the scriptures, you know, is is um. You know, is saying this for a reason, man, because you know, in the last days, you would have deception, man. All right, lies, people lying, twist, you know, twisting the truth. You know, trying to deceive people from the truth. But the truth is being revealed. Okay? The true image of the people of the Lord. All right, which they try to hide and they try to say, you know, that, you know, our, you know, our people were just never did anything. We, you know, we were just always slaves. No history, but really our history is in the Bible. All right? And those icons, you know, they're very impactful, man, because they've been reserved, you know, preserved for all this time in these last days. And they're being spoken about now. They're being revealed. And we had many of those icons, man, all over Europe, you know, over uh, different parts of Africa, you know, all over the world. You know, you can't hide that truth. All right. You got the, the black Madonna and child, you know. Which the Pope, he always, uh, uh, you know, there's photos of the Pope, you know, uh, uh, you know, kissing those relics and statues. 
So what's that about? What do they know? Okay, because they know the truth about the Bible and, and the people of the Lord. They know the Lord being a, is a so-called black man. All right, so let's jump to that. Let's, 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 uh, and before we get that, let me get a precept. All right, because we know what the people of Judah look like, all right, according to the scriptures. All right, I just read it. They're black onto the ground, all right, meaning dark skin, quadra. All right, now our people are spread and scattered. You know, and look various ways where we've been scattered. But this is still a part of the truth, man. All right. So this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. It says, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. All right. So it's clear that our Lord came from Judah. OK, which is a tribe of Israel. All right. It's clear. Evident means it's well known. OK. Our Lord's lineage, you know, is well documented. All right. These things are, are known, man. It was very important to have the genealogies and, and that knowledge. When our Lord was, you know, walking on the earth. All right. So if, if Judah, you know, is black unto the ground, right? Dark skin. And it says our Lord came out of Judah. Then how is our Lord going to look? How did our Lord look? What was his image? What was his uh, appearance? Because, you know, they actually, you know, had to, well, when they crucified our Lord, you know, they put, you know, an actual body on the cross. It weren't just some spirit because that's like our, our people, man, in the Christianity. You know, they're so bugged out. They, they'll, they'll, to try and defend, you know, lies, they'll say, oh, oh the Lord was just a spirit. No, but he was an actual physical man as well. All right, and the Bible describes his appearance and his true image. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. It says the revelation of Yahweh Shai, all right, which we know the real name of our Lord is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. All right, so it says the revelation of our Lord Yahweh Shai, meaning the revealing. OK, it says, which the most high Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. All right. So the Bible is a, a book of prophecy. All right. And revelations, you know, in the end, these things would be revealed. So the true, you know, uh, uh, image of our Lord is a part of that. All right. So when you jump down to verse 13 and 14 it says and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot all right so the son of man is our lord and savior yahweh shai all right so this is what's being seen it says clothed with a garment down to the foot so he actually had a garment on all right it says and girt about the paps with a golden girdle all right around his waist all right and this is the point verse 14 says his head and his hairs were white like wool okay so his head and his hairs all right so the, the hairs on his head and the hairs on his face because our lord wore a beard all right was white as snow meaning the color was uh white and uh the texture was woolly all right you know and you see our people that their hair their hair texture is that of uh, uh you know like wool what they would call an afro. So our Lord is being described as having hair like wool, an afro, right? And white in appearance. The texture, right? Like a fully matured, uh, gray, uh, you know, basically white, you know, pure, you know, uh, head of hair. So this is the description, right? It's saying white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Okay, and there's a prophecy in Genesis uh, 49, all right, you know, and it speaks about how our Lord, his eyes would be red with wine, all right? Our Lord was, uh, uh, you know, known to drink wine, all right? Lots of red wine. So it says, his eyes were as a flame of fire and his feet like unto fine brass, all right? Brass, what color is brass? All right, that's a brown color. Okay. You know, so our Lord was not 
a so-called uh, Caucasian white man. All right. That's a lie. You didn't have blonde hair and blue eyes. You know, that's lies. All right. It says his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything in a furnace, it's going to become dark, very darker. OK, so not only was he, uh, you know, had color, but it describes that it was, you know, a darker, um, you know, color, dark um, complexion. It says, and his voice as the sound of many waters. All right. Our Lord had a, a loud voice. All right. He was a preacher. All right. A prophet. So where, you know, are, are people, you know, thinking that, uh, you know, the Lord looks like a, a so-called white man? Where do they get that from? You know, that's the lies of this devil, man. All right. And these so-called white people, these Edomites for all this time have brought lies all right, through iconoclasm, all right, through the Renaissance period. And they've been bringing all these lies in the earth man, deceiving people. And it doesn't actually have no, you know, truth to it, right? Because the scriptures are completely opposite of what they've been trying to say. And the scriptures tell you that they would do that, right? So before I close, let me get a last few scriptures. All right, this is um, 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. It says, and laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the heathen took the Holy Bible and, you know, made up their own, you know, images. They lied, okay? They started doing their own paintings. They started, you know, deceiving the, uh, the world into thinking that the people of the Bible and the Lord looked like Caucasian so-called white people, all right? You know, blasphemy, lies, you know, you know, that's, you know the, the furthest thing from the truth so that's what these heathen nations did man but particularly the so-called white man right these edomites because you don't really you know see other nations you know you know do it they have their you know the other heathen nations they got their idols but what you'll find is the so-called you know white man the edomites they put they take the the holy bible and they make themselves to be the people of the lord which they're the edomites they're the wicked all right and this whole you know truth is being revealed man more and more all right so i'm going to close with this last scripture here all right this is second ezra chapter 6 and verse 28 i'll start from 27 it says for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched as for faith it shall flourish corruption shall be overcome and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared okay so yeah all the, all the evil all the lies all the deception you know that's going to become torn apart in these last days man because it's not going to be able to stand you know the truth is is the most powerful thing that's you know going through the earth and the lord has it that way because we're at the time of the end where the truth is being revealed all right and our people have this uh you know this truth and and the chance of repentance open unto them you know we're in a time where more believers are going to uh, start you know uh, appearing all right people believe in the truth because the truth is just overwhelming you know and it can't be stopped you know the lord is forward in this truth you know and it's going to get bigger and bigger you know till it reaches the right people man which is the the elect the ones that are destined to believe and repent Right, and to be delivered in these last days from the coming destruction, the World War Three, the nuclear missiles, America, which is Babylon, being destroyed, all right, being delivered by by the the chariots of our Lord, and and seeing the return of our our Lord, man. Okay, the truth uh, showing and revealing who the wicked is, these Edomites, you know, and who the true chosen people of the Lord are, being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and our, our scattered people. All right, this truth is taking over, man. So we're in a beautiful time. So I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say all praises be to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai, Wahar, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, and to the elect. Shalom.